you might have heard the term semiconductors floating around in the news lately and likely thought it has nothing to do with you. But these devices are the building blocks of electronics, a key aspect of everyday modern appliances, including the very phone you're watching this on. And more than 80% of the world's semiconductors are made in East and Southeast Asia. Taiwan dominates advanced chip making, South Korea leads in memory, Japan supplies critical equipment and materials, while Malaysia, Vietnam and the Philippines are expanding in assembly and testing. This month, India and Singapore signed a key bilateral pact to partner and cooperate in the field of semiconductors. Both countries will promote company partnerships and investments, strengthen chip supply chains, collaborate on research and development projects, train and build a skilled workforce, share knowledge and best practices, and regulate India-Singapore chip policy talks. The deal is timely. Semiconductors are seen as a key plank of India's business agenda, enabling it to compete in the future with global leaders such as Taiwan. India has already put a $10 billion incentive package on the table to attract manufacturers, while India's semiconductor market valued at $38 billion in 2023 is projected to hit $110 billion by 2030. Singapore Prime Minister Lawrence Wong highlighted that a strong and rising India contributes to stability, resilience and shared prosperity in Asia. According to Asian Development Bank, India, which contributes about 20% to the global semiconductor design workforce but currently does not manufacture chips on its home soil, has also devised policies to attract big manufacturing firms. With India and Singapore teaming up, it will also lay the ground for stronger manufacturing and research collaboration. Can this partnership help build a more self-reliant Asia? We'll find out.